Hello everybody. Um, yeah, so this week uh, I built a uh, little mobile node um, out of a uh, Haltech T114. And um, with a little twist, I called this, I call this a uh, mobile uh, solar node. <laughs> uh, not that anybody ever wanted a mobile solar node, but hey, I made one. Um, in here is a T114, um, and the reason I use the T114 is great for a mobile node is because this thing uses so little power. It uses like 10 milliamps. If a screen's off like this, it uses like 10 milliamps of power. Um, and, um, you know, and I think I have a 2000 milliamp battery in here, which will make it last 150 hours plus. It's like a week. Uh, without having to charge it. So um, T114 plus the battery and um, you can see the two buttons. That's the function button. You can see there it comes on and then the reset button below it. Um, I'll put a link to this case of, uh, you know, in the description and uh, you know, a link to a T114 and the little antenna. But that's about it. Um, but why I called this a, uh, a uh, solar mobile node is you can charge it and update it, you know, there's the USB port. But I also added a little solar panel to the back. And you would say, but why? Why do you need that? And why you need that is it, it, it's nice because if I put this thing in the sun, it, um, it charges. Um, you know, this little panel produces like 30 milliamps, but uh, the little radio only takes 10, you know, milliamps. Uh, the T114. So this is actually a bigger solar panel than what uh, what uh, uh, um, little uh, T114 uses. But um, you know, of, of course, I've got a. Uh, I'll show you on the inside now. I've got an MP, MPTT MPPT uh, controller in the middle, which is uh, uh, which will take some power and LED on that. So probably 10 milliamps is going into the battery when you put it in the sun. But that way, um, you know, if you forget to charge this thing and you take it with you, um, you can just put it in the sun and recharge it and start using it, which is, which is awesome. I, um, so I butchered this little case a little bit and I added these little bumpers and, uh, and um, of course, a little solar panel there. So let me show you on the inside what it looks like. And uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully you can still sort of see what I'm doing here. Uh, there we go. Um, so on the inside, let me open that. I have got, of course, the wires to the little solar panel at the back. And um, then here is the uh, Haltech T114. Um, this case is really meant for a 3000 milliamp battery, which you could, could put in here. But because I added this little MPPT, MTTP, I can never remember, uh, a charge controller in there. Um, so the solar panel runs from there into there, and that then runs and uh, uh, uses, uh, charges the battery and runs the, the power for the, for the node. And the reason why I do that is because you can turn off the Haltech then um, uh, uh, and these two systems work independently. If you turn off the Haltech, you can just put it in the sun and that charge controller will charge the battery all, all by itself. So I'll put a little video of me putting it in the sun in here and you'll see what I mean by that. Okay, let's see if I can uh, get this thing to charge using its little solar panel. Um, I see at the moment it is on 3.98 volts, 79%. So let's go put it out there in the sun. Uh, there's not much sun. It's uh, a little bit cloudy today, but let's let's see what happens. So the first thing I'll do, though, is I'll actually turn this off. Um, I'll keep the button pressed till it goes uh, shut down. So it's shut down now. So that way it won't overheat. Okay, so it's shut down. Let's go put it out there. Right, here it is in the sun. Um, let's see what it does. Um, 
if it actually uh, if it actually charges a bit. All right, so I left it out there for a while. You can see it's now at 3.99 or uh, 80%. So it does charge in the sun, not very fast, but um, yeah, it uh, is confirmed to be charging. But um, yeah, you can turn this off and independently discharge the battery while this thing's in the sun. So that's how simple it is. It all just clips together there. You got an SMA connector with an antenna on top. You got the battery. You got a little controller over there and you got a little solar panel at the back and it all just clips together like that and creates a little mobile node with buttons. I had to reprint these buttons because I my printer sucks at, at buttons but uh, um, in any case uh, um, uh, um, it, it all worked out. There it is. Of course this doesn't have a GPS but this thing really uses so little power. Uh, it's been running for a few days already without having to be, uh, oh, actually I rebooted it this morning, I think, just to test something. But, you know, it, it's been running for <laughs> nonstop and uh, it works. It's very strong. It's as, uh, as strong, if not stronger, the reception and, and transmission is stronger, if not stronger, than the ESP32S3 or the uh, Heltec V3, as it's known. But uh, this Altec T114 is great. And in a case like this, which is so slim, I also printed a little uh, mobile, uh, you know, a clip, belt clip. I had to butcher it, of course, to uh, the official belt clip to make it work for me uh, because I now got a solar panel on the back. But there it is. I got a little belt clip. I can just clip it onto my belt and go walking around. Um, you know, and have this mobile node, and if ever I need to charge it, I can charge it, or I can just turn it off perhaps and just let it lie in the sun for a few hours and it'll be charged. So that's my little project of the week. So uh, thanks for watching.